So whoever that has given Regina Daniels this advice to tow this line obviously do not like her. If I were in her shoes, because of the name calling, is either I limit my comment section or I pay deaf ears to whatever people choose to say. This habit of always coming out to come and intentionally paper your haters because you feel that whatever they are doing is not getting to you is totally wrong. Not that it is wrong, but that is not the best advice. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not in any way supporting the name calling and the trolling, but this particular thing she's trying to do, trust me, it is not going to end well. If she's wise enough, she will not do this. For those who do not understand what is going on, during the time of the protest, Regina Daniels came out to come and say one or two things concerning the protest. Even though what she said was not bad in any way, but people felt that the manner in which she said it was not okay at all. Apart from that, people also felt that because she has never come out to tackle this government, she has never come out to speak of the ills of this government. Therefore, she does not have any right to talk about people who are angry and hungry at the same time she came out three consecutive times to talk about the protest and the third one was something else the third one was way off and since then people have never stopped trolling her 90 percent of the people trolling her are saying one thing and which is the fact that if nigeria was okay she does not have any business getting married to a man who is old enough to be her father so in a bit to pepper people whenever she posts a video or a photo she will put an intentional caption that will tell people look whatever you're saying is not getting to me it is none of my business if you continue to throw me from today to tomorrow it is not getting to me in any way after all i am not the one suffering so as you can see in this particular video on top of it you can see occupation sweet grandpa's baby and on the caption it says i pay a be in no pay and you can see the clothes she's wearing oversized t-shirt and oversized trousers. that means whatever she's doing she is intentional about it this is obviously trying to prepare people to tell people after after all, I am not the one suffering. Whatever it is, yes, I married my grandpa, but at the end of the day, I am making my money. Like I said before, trust me, I don't support the name calling and the trolling. But you see this particular thing she's trying to do? It is not going to end well. I know that some people will not see anything wrong with this thing she's doing. After all, you people came for her face and she's giving it back. For how long is she going to continue this way? Like, for how long? Look at Toyin Abraham. Look at Eniola Badmus. They think it's like coming out to do church or church. But at the end of the day, what happened? For those who understand this internet space, even if you want to do this type of thing, just live your normal life. Just do your things. Just do things as if it's not touching you at all. Yes, it's good to pay deaf ears. It's good to mind your business. It's good to do your things the way you want to do it. But you see this particular one she's doing? I don't think it is going to end well. Anyway, if you're watching this video, what are your thoughts? Please let me see your two cents in the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel if you've not. And put on your post notifications so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified.